welcome back to the show everybody the Lasur swap meet is upon us once again so same as usual I'm pulling the enclosed trailer with all the goods my silver truck seniors up there he hasn't quite uh, got on the roll yet but um, he's gonna take the camper and we're about to hit the road so let's get the weekend underway to all on Let's follow Senior. This is also his first time towing with his new pickup, so we're curious to see how it does handling the camper. We've got about a oh, good three hours to go. Should be a good test for it. Senior phone spot, way down on the end. And now that we're out of that Twin Cities metro area, this is much more the speed of driving that Squatch likes right here. Two lane road, it's a nice countryside, farmland to look at. Don't mind this one bit. Passing through the small town of Montgomery right now. Fun fact, this area you're looking at right here in this grove of trees used to be an old steam tractor uh, graveyard. We went to an auction here one time years and years ago. used to be amazing. It's mostly just a housing development now. Okay everybody, we're getting close. I can see the grounds from here. Well, everybody, we're up here toward the front end of row four this year. So we got here a little bit earlier than we usually do. Let's head over to the other side of the grounds. Same routine as always. Go find Senior, see if he needs help uh, setting up our home for the next few days. Here he is. Looks like he found a good spot. We got a shade tree. <laughs> All right, interview time for the camera. How'd the truck pull the trailer on the way down? It didn't do too bad. You had to stop a couple times and do some adjustments with the computer stuff. But yeah. you can't just jump in and drive them anymore. Yeah, you need to program the trailer to the truck. And then, well, we added that uh, anti-sway hitch to yeah. it and adjusted that a couple times. But all in all, I think it did pretty well. So yeah, we made it. All right, we'll get set up. Well, we've got our registration done. We've got our spots prepaid for next year, 2025 season already. And we've got one, two, three, four, five rows of vendors that have come in to pre-stage in the lot already on Wednesday night, evening, I should say. So we'll get back out here early in the morning, walk the lines, get a little bit of a preview for swap meet 2024, what all we're gonna see hit the ground on Thursday and We'll pick back up with you then. See you tomorrow, everybody. All right, everybody, let's go see what new has showed up out in the lines. Senior was out there already. You said there's probably three, four new lines At since... Least, uh, two more plus the third one started since yesterday. Yeah, we'll go take a walk around. We've got about three hours before they let us in, so let's go get a preview of what's going to be at the meet this year. Part of a John Deere, most of a John Deere. Wide front end. 
Another deer. Propane. 630. Case single bottom. Old spoke wheels. We've got case three bottom over there. T A Y F Y C Taf Tafico. That's a new one on me. These look like suitcase weights that go on a bolster. Usually desirable. I don't recognize them, but we've got a lot of case stuff on here. Back blade. Look at this needle cart. If that was a little more heavy duty, it could be good for the rock crusher, but still not quite heavy enough for that. Beeman Garden Tractor Company, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now that's an interesting one. French and hecked wheels, spokes. Lots of steel wheels in there. There you can see the F and H. Looks like Ford parts in series. Ferguson there. Super Chiefs on this one must be a is it a fast hitch or no no that's uh, on land one two three yeah it's a four that's what you're looking for ain't it yeah we don't have the trailer to haul this one back home but yeah. heavy duty g series mold boards on them this one looks like the old rooster comb plow see that old comb gear right there it's like early oliver More plow parts. Some John Deere stuff here. Those look like big dump rake wheels over there. They're wide. I'd say about six inches wide. If you need any lights, there they are. What do we got here? Decent rubber. Nubs all over it yet. Farmal H. 10, 3, 11. That's a newer looking, oh, this is a super. That's a super, look at those, uh, look at those disc brakes. That's why it's got that other number on it, okay. Yep, SH on the model. Newer is the newer tag. Quaker, the uh, loader from your 350D used to be a Quaker. They got a yep. Quaker sticker on that box. Yeah, Super H here. It says regular H, but it's got the uh, super tag, disc brakes, bigger carb, IH logo up on the grill, definitely a super. Horizontal IH distributor on it. Yep. Regulator down here by the starter on this one. Still has belly pump. Wide fronts. And more wide fronts. K Brunner steel tractor wheel. That's interesting. Huh. Single cylinder engines and carts. More engines. More engines. What do we have here? Looks like a D. Looks like a D to me. What to think about these rear wheels though. Just looks off back there. Fronts look plenty big too. Old split rim style. I don't know. Well, looks like it's the original style hub though. Don't know a ton about them. Um, now here's something you used to see all the time but I haven't seen around here for a while. A Fordson F. It looks like somebody's ground the Fordson lettering off the radiator top. Uh, but aftermarket mag drive. So the buzz box has been removed. It doesn't have an air cleaner in place. It looks like they put one on top of like maybe a different carburetor. Steel on the back looks fairly solid. They were all always good for rusting out. It's even got the um, factory fenders on it. All kinds of old jacks. Some old simplex jacks. Smaller versions of the uh, simplex that I use at home.
Minneapolis Moline Trader. All Moline parts on here. Cylinder heads, radiator, sheet metal, pistons, some wheel weights. Oh, here's some rims. We got a 10 inch on here. I'm looking for a 10 inch. Old Chevy truck. Honeycomb radiator core in it. Wood spoke wheels. Wood box. Kind of neat. John Deere MT and the John Deere AR. There's an old manual uh, jack screw press. Kind of neat. Turn the wheel and Arbor comes down. Okay, this is neat. Another front wheel over there. Giant disc plow. See those blades? Offset tail wheel, counteract the draft. Big solid square steel beam frame. Six and a half. Those are neat though. And that is a Minneapolis Moline. That's the disc plow. It's neat. All right, here's something that says Caterpillar. Hard to find around here. It looks like it come out of a grader. It's got the handles on it. We got a 3F156. So that is not the 4200G style jug. So it is a different, different from the number nine. So this could be possibly number 10 Auto Patrol. It doesn't have the same type of manifold as the 4200G either. But really the manifold doesn't look horrible. Drop tube is broken. That's sitting down there. Exhaust manifold's not horrible. Heat box is tough. That's pretty common though. If he'd just sell me these grab handles, they're handy. Uh, we have a non Eisman mag on that side. And locked up tight. There's not even gear backlash on that mag, or on that uh, fan, sorry. More engines. This one's on a really nice cart. 4300 there. Vertical single cylinder. 12 mule team. Says it's a bigger associated. Another associated. Another associated engine. A lot of them on here. There's a little stover. Round holes and flywheels. Another stover. So here's a rat rod looking trailer. Looks like we've got a Wisconsin engine. Farm all ish grill. Custom hood, exhaust right out the top. Don't know what we've got for a chassis. It's like a truck transmission there. Truck rear end. Some IH looking wheel weights on it. Not very wide, but it looks stout. And everybody's starting up. About two minutes to go before they open the gate and let all of us start filing in. So I like this part of the weekend the best. Everything's finally about to get underway. Row one's on the move. Look who's coming up the side of the truck. There he is, just in time. I got your text. That's too far to walk. I gave him the two minute warning text. <laughs> Row two on the move. Row three just started. We're next. Now it's our turn.
everybody. We still got the skidoo in the trailer. We haven't taken that out yet because this is just kind of pre-set up, David. I'll walk you through. He's got a couple small wood turning lathes. He brought one of the armature lathes down. Small little uh, drill press, almost a camelback style. A few other little things, odds, ends, jigsaws, big wooden clown hammer. There's the old vise from the um, bench. Maybe somebody take that away. Got a nice can crusher here. Works good. I crushed many, many aluminum cans with that back in my day. We got some steel John Deere uh, plow parts there. Yard art uh, milk can. Of course, I sell my ammo cans like usual. Made a nice little display with the prices out here. Plenty more in the back of the truck. We got we brought a lot of those. Oh, small canning jars and then just some miscellaneous dollar table stuff, five dollar table stuff. And a few other assorted things back here. We still have plenty of stuff inside the trailer. We can get to and unload if we really need. So that's about all I can show y'all for Thursday. For the most part, we're set. Once again, they're talking rain tomorrow. It's Lasore. <laughs> what can I say? Par for the course. So pick back up with you later. Well, I've got Senior with. He said, let's go out for a walk around Thursday evening. So we'll see what there is to see. There's a big pick. Now, somebody put some spade lugs on that one. More traction. Here we got some wheels with some lugs on them. More back there too. Click an IH. Got some extension, skeleton cleats. Pretty good yet. More heavy lug wheels. Distributors, starters, magnetos. Looks like a lot of IH stuff. Now, though there's some headlight brackets. I kind of like them, really. They're like a cast, too. Field roller here. Yeah, that's the problem. 700. Yeah. That's it's got garbage. teeth on it though. Wood block bearings in it. That's neat. Easy to rebearing, anyhow. Yeah, it alternates. It's got like a rib wheel and like the, the toothed, uh, what you'd call it, a cog sprocket yeah, all the way across. Are. Yeah, I noticed that. I don't know. If designed that way or not. Don't know. I'd like to have one like that one day though. IH little genius. Single bottom on steel. And I thought I felt the disturbance in the force. Get out of that glare. Caterpillar 20. Decent looking grousers on it. Not bad looking undercarriage. Brocket teeth a little bit sharp but there's lots of life left in this one yet. Should be the triple roller, yep, triple on the bottom. Main springs looking good. Equalizer springs looking good. 4200 G gas engine. Curved down fenders at the back. Fender braces up to the seat box. A little bit of welding on the drawbar been done. Quick view of the other side. Toolbox up there on the fender. The sprocket looks a little bit newer over here. Carry rollers there yet. Most of the track tent at the back. Plenty of life left in those rails yet. Manifold, homemade drop tube. I like that pre-cleaner jar up on top of the air cleaner. That is neat. Of course, the wavy caterpillar up top on the radiator. Like it. There's a little W4. Distributor set up. Belt pulley. Wheel weights. Drawbar's been broken and welded, otherwise it's not horrible. 
Another thing I noticed, it's got a Minneapolis Moline type coil spring suspension seat on it that they made their own bracket that anchors to the top deck here and then comes down at the back because the W4 seats left a lot to be desired. They just had that coil spring there with that tube and it always bottomed out on the deck and it was a rough ride. Doesn't surprise me a bit to see that they uh, engineered a new seat for it or a different seat. Now this is a neat little one. It says Beeman Garden Tractor Company, Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA. What I like about it, the wheels are just pulled in tight. <laughs> that thing is not any wider than it needs to be. Looks like it's a walk behind deal. Little flathead, uh, single cylinder, or is it a twin? I think it's a single. Yep. And there's your hand crank start right there. So it must be a flywheel. Yeah, it's a flywheel that rotates inside the main wheel. That is kind of that is kind of cool, really. Here's something you could probably build a rat route out of. It's got a good look to it. Might be some of the old uh, lead filler up there too. Yeah, there's potential here. Well, we're just about back to our spot. That's right up ahead at the end of the road. Sun's getting low, so this time I think we're gonna wrap it for Thursday. See you back tomorrow, everybody. Well, everybody, you hear that rain on the roof? That's right, about 6, 10 in the morning, opening day of the swap meet, it started raining. So it was in the forecast. Wouldn't be Lasur without some rain and some mud. So we'll just hang out here in the trailer today. We've got just a few things set out. Most everything is covered up because not a whole lot of people walking around anyhow. So we'll see how things go today. Well, things have picked up here pretty good. We're on second lunch of the day. Cheeseburger, fries. I was trying to say cheeseburger and fries. Sorry about that. The camera battery decided it had had enough of the cold, but uh, that's all right. Friday sales were actually pretty solid. Once it quit raining, about 9.30, it got busy, and the people that were there were buying. I bet two-thirds of all of our sales for the weekend happened on Friday alone. So fresh camera battery, back to your regularly scheduled programming. And just like that, while well, my battery uh, quit on me because it's so cold and rainy, it's about four hours later. Yeah, I was going to show you the second lunch of the day because you need to consume calories, keep your uh, energy up, because you shiver most of the day being wet and cold. And rain is back, but it's about 5 p.m. So we covered everything up and it's all put away for the evening and we'll hit it back again tomorrow morning, Saturday. It's supposed to be a lot better day. Hoping for better times tomorrow. We'll see you. It's been a long day. We'll see you all then. There we are. We've got all the ammo cans set back out. That's everything we've got left after yesterday. Didn't have a lot of time for YouTube and yesterday between the rain and everybody stopping in and it's gonna get a bit dark in here. I'll senior just turn the light on for us. Um yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that great of a day for having the camera out yesterday. So uh the rain has stopped and it's supposed to be a decent dryish day today we're gonna have some wind but that's going to just dry everything out a little bit more you uh still hauling stuff out i mean, you better get busy the back end's full yet <laughs> yeah there's still quite a bit of stuff that stayed in here from uh yesterday we didn't want to have it out in the rain so we'll have a little bit of wind today that's all right might do a quick walk about here before it gets busy and we'll see what else we can see There's a familiar looking radiator top. Looks fairly clean. Look at this. That's the same throttle lever I've got on the H. We might have to wheel and deal a little bit here.
what can I say? I have a condition. <laughs> There's some Fairmont railroad car axles. Senior used to have that little uh, speeder car. He could have put those to good use. Economy engine on a cart. And all those manuals I'm always buying, Mike Becker right up here. We're gonna see if we can't find some more this morning. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. You've got my car, don't you? Yep. Oh, I've got multiples by now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you around. All right. Have a good day. You too. All right. Back to the lot. So, okay. Morning finds. Air cleaner top for the 48W4. That one's a little bit rusted out. Found another one of those, um, uh, electrical box uh, panels that has the um, uh, come on man the light switch uh, fuse or the lighting system fuse switch and then amp gauge that's like I found for the farm all H here last summer so it doesn't hurt to have a second one of those and we've got the other throttle handle like is on the farm all H I just kind of like those friction handles better and we picked up the last couple manuals we were in need of for the IHW4s. So, all good. We're done with our buy-in. Now we can just stay here and sell. Try to make some of that money back, right? And time for first lunch. One of my favorite stops at the Swap Me here, Pizzeria 201. They do wood-fired pizza in a brick oven right here on site. Very good. Highly recommended. Well, second lunch. Sales have been slow, but steady today. It's all right. It's second lunch. And just like that, it's all put back away again. So, yeah, rain coming in tomorrow morning, Sunday. We are packed up right now, Saturday evening. And we're gonna probably stick around long enough to have breakfast tomorrow, and we'll hook up and we'll head out. So. I gotta haul that darn snowmobile home again. Spring's a bad time to try to sell snowmobiles anyway. So all in all, I'd say we did pretty well. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here that we ended up kind of buying this weekend. Um, pretty good weekend on the whole, especially sales-wise, considering we're leaving a day early. I'd say we did three times as good as we did last year, despite yesterday being pretty rainy. So. I don't know if I'm going to wrap the episode right here or if we're going to get home and I'll do a quick recap of the uh, all the finds that Senior and I procured this weekend. We'll have to see how long this one ends up being, decide if we're going to tack anything else onto it or not. So thank you everyone for watching. We're wrapping the Lesur Swap Meet 2024. We were here since, oh, we've been here four days now. Still went pretty fast. So any parting words? Nope. Nope. Short and sweet. We are ready to close it all up. So, hope to see y'all back again next year. We want to hook the truck up and everything. Lights on, lights on, lights on. It's like an airplane cockpit. I know. Get the tag off. Weekend's officially done. Eight thirty Sunday morning. Rain's on the way, and people been scattering out here like save yourselves.